Saving and loading selections in Photoshop is really easy and today I've got a really quick video to show you how to do it. But before we get started, don't forget to check out naturemike.com for some great how-to articles, in-field workshops, and private post-processing lessons. To save a selection, first you need to make a selection. So I'm going to use my quick selection tool. I'm just going to go ahead and select the sky here. And then I'm going to simply head up to select and then choose save selection. And we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it sky. And right now it's saving into the current document that I have open. So I'm just going to leave that there and channel I'll leave set to new and we're gonna hit OK. And so we've saved our first selection, and now I'm gonna deselect the sky by going to Select, Deselect, or Command or Control D. And now I'm gonna select the foreground. So I'm gonna increase my brush size by holding the right bracket key. I'm just gonna select in here, I'm gonna select the mountains as well. And now we've got our foreground selected, so this time instead of going to Select and creating a new layer there, I'm gonna to go to the Channels tab, and I'm gonna hit this Layer Mask icon. And you can see my selection has been saved here in the channels, along with my initial sky layer. So I'm going to change this alpha layer name to foreground. And to get out of this mask view, I'm just going to click on the actual pixel base layer in the layers tab. And now we have two selections made. Now I'm going to deselect the selection, command or control D. And I'll go back up to select. And now if I want to load a selection, I can go to load and you can see here I have my channel. I can choose sky or foreground. Let's go ahead and choose our sky layer or sky selection and hit OK. And there it is. And I can also make a selection from the channels tab too. So if I come down here to where it says foreground, I'll command click and you can see my selection changed to my foreground that I had saved. And then I could go about editing this in any way that I want. I could add a curves layer and then that curves layer will just affect just my my foreground okay so that's it i hope you enjoyed the quick video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe go ahead and leave me a comment down below and i'll see you in the next video